Hi, real quickly I wanted to show you how to uh, link these Tatum's uh, spreadsheets to your Tatum's data uh, in case your data is not in the default location for a 32-bit machine which would just be C program files Tatum's 2005. So um, what you would do is first of all you want to bring up Tatum's and then go to tools and networking and you'll see the path to the data file that you're currently linked to right there. So you can copy that path and then I'm just going to open up Notepad. And paste it in there. So now I have the path. And now I'm going to go to, back over to the spreadsheet. I'm going to go to Data, and then Connections, and then Properties, and then Definition. And I'm going to go in this Connections string here. And you'll see where it says Data Source. And so I'm just going to change that data source right there after the equal sign and before the semicolon to the path that I copied from the Tatum's networking tool. So I'm going to do a control V as in Victor. So I've pasted that in. And now I'm going to click OK. And close. And now you can see that we have linked up to a different data file altogether. And uh, so that's how you do that. The other thing is you might have an issue if, if for some reason it won't link, you get some sort of an error. What you can do is you can recreate the spreadsheet. Now in order to recreate the spreadsheet, what you want to do is go to Connections, and then go to Properties, and then go to Definition, and then select the command text down here. So I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to right click, choose copy. I'm going to go back into the notepad. I'm just going to return down a couple of uh, notches here and just do a control V as in Victor to paste that query in there. So now that I have the query, I'm going to minimize that. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this spreadsheet. So I'm going to cancel this, close that. I'm just going to go to File, Close. not going to save my changes. So now I'm going to go to File New and I'm just going to do a blank workbook. I'm going to go to the Data tab and then I'm going to say From Access. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to grab that same path. So I'm going to go back up here and get that path and I'm going to copy that and paste that in here where it says File Name. I think I can paste it in here. Okay, and it's letting me. I'm getting a data link properties. The only thing I want to change here is under advanced, I want to make sure that share deny none is checked and that share deny write is not checked. So I want to check this one that says share deny none. And uh, you might not see this if you have a, an older version of Excel. So I'm going to click OK there. And now it's asking me which table I want to select. This is how you could actually create your own spreadsheets from scratch. I'm just going to grab the, go ahead and grab that first table. And then I'm going to click on properties. Go to definition. And you can see the command text down here is different and the command type is different. So I'm going to change command type to SQL. And then I'm going to go over here and grab that query, which is the command text. I'm going to highlight that, copy that. And then I'm going to paste that into the command text field. And the last thing I want to check is this mode equals share deny none, and that is correct. If that was different, if it said something like share deny write or anything else, uh, you would want to change that to mode equals share deny none. Okay, now I'm just going to click OK there, and then I'm going to click OK again. It's getting the data, and now it's pulled in the, the uh, all the data uh, by creating a brand new spreadsheet linked up to the proper location. And now you can just save the file, uh, give it any name you want, and uh, you're, you can bring it up again later, and it'll be linked up to your data file as long as the data file remains in the same path. All right, hopefully that's helpful for you. Thanks a lot. Have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.